What do you feel like the state of hip hop is right now, Toon? And how do you feel like AI is going to impact the future of hip hop? Who we? I'm gonna tell you all. Right now, man, where hip hop is, I would say, um, as far as we've gotten, and far as uh, and, and where we're going, because it's still a lot of money being made. It still haven't been. We still need to create our own pot, man. Even if you just got, if everybody just drop a thousand into it, mm. and some can drop ten, some yeah. can drop five. Yeah, you know, to have our own thing, man. Whether it's our own arena, yeah, our own auditorium, yeah, um, um, distribution. Mm -hmm. We still need video channels. I say, That's you know. Real. Um, you know, you got YouTube or whatnot, but I still think it's important for a, some type of 106 or platform. We need our own late night show mm. um, to where people can sit on the couch and talk about their project, man. We need that. Well, see, the issue is, and I'm and about to give up a little game. Mm -hmm. I'm about to give up a little game. What's up? Uh, all the stuff that you mentioned, it needs to happen via social media. That can happen too. And That's why I'm Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube are all social medias and TikTok as well. But the issue is folks are so busy using these antiquated methods to try to get shit done, they don't realize the tools that they have right in front of them right. and how to condense it and make it concise so that you can put it out here and still get the same point across and have the same impact. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you could go live at 10 p.m. every night on uh, Instagram and have the same damn effect as if you was going live on CBS at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, if everybody know that, that you're going to be tuned in. You see what I'm saying? In, if you yeah, got, but see, the in. whole thing is, is that, see. Well, you're right. Without even sitting on the, on the TV. You nigga, got they on the, right on the phone. It's the same thing. The same Folks thing. just yeah. ain't using the phone how it needs to be used. Mm. You can use, the whole thing is, folks ain't looking at the resources that they have and the possibilities behind it. So what's happening, this is really what's going on. Uh, you have television, radio, and film. Mm-hmm. In order for people to keep their damn jobs and the way it is, mm -hmm. they can't allow it to go to the phone. Because mm. if it goes to the phone, guess what? By the time it get here, me and you can do it too. Yeah, yeah. And if me and you can do it too, that means we might be able to do it better than you. Yeah, we will. I might be more creative than you. Now we go, we go, we gonna we gonna put our shit to. We it. gonna put our shit on there, and that's <laughs> you see what I'm saying. We gonna put that sauce on Shout there. Shout out to Turk. Come bro. on, man. Picking this moment. Oh, and that's seasoning, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try one of these too, Come man. Come on, man. Yeah, hey, I've been doing my and little that's turkey burger issue. Yeah. So I see that a lot in the industry. So it'll be like right now. And I mean, I hate to just blow the roof off the mother, but if you're looking at television, radio film, and journalism, all of these, in paper journalism, mm -hmm. all of these different forms of media have converged onto the phone. To the phone, yeah. Well, guess what? I got access to the same internet that Viacom has, right. that CBS has, right. that Lionsgate has. Everybody else, yeah, all the big boys, yeah. So if I go viral with my content because it's better, they're not going to be able to compete. And that platform, this internet landscape is a flat landscape. It ain't yeah. no hills where you can get on top of a hill and look down on everybody. You got to build that hill from scratch yourself. So let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Like how you were saying, like I was talking about a late night show. And one of my things when I speak of late night shows is like a Jimmy Kimmel. That's right. Like Arsenio Hall was. You know, yeah. you sit down here, we talk about the album, you talk about the producers who was on it. And guess what? After this interview, you're going to go on stage and perform live. That's right. Why haven't nobody done a podcast like that with live performance like a soundstage? Uh, that might just be Is it a lot of, of rights and shit? Yeah, I'm thinking copyright situations because, I mean, you got to clear it. That, that's probably the only thing. That but you can still I'm get surprised. a freestyle, though, so I don't understand. If you can get a freestyle, you should be able to get a doggone performance, too, to go with it. I think, yeah, man, that's what I think. That's but now the labels is probably going to come back and they're going to flag your podcast. But at the same time, it's promoting your artists. They don't care. This is promoting the album that y'all are about to release. Those streams that you just got, that they want that money. They want that. They want that money. Live performance. Come huh? on.